welcome to this 8th lecture of compiler construction in this lecture we will uh, try to get some knowledge about predictive parsing that's in fact the technique that we will uh, apply to make our own parser and secondly uh, we will try to get some knowledge about recurrent in grammar and uh, since predictive parsing is a specialized type of recursive descent parsing which is further the specialized type of uh, top down parsing and uh, top down parsing and bottom up uh, are two types of uh, main types of parsing so we will try to uh, get some uh, knowledge about this whole hierarchy as well as we will try to get some uh, knowledge about the recurrent in grammar that is uh, uh, left recurrent or can be right recurrent okay so let's start by getting uh, some uh, knowledge about the basic two types of parsing uh, first type is top down parsing in fact uh, as we already uh, get knowledge about the passing process that's in fact the, the construction of a pass tree and uh, the reason for construction of that pass tree is to uh, check that whether the given uh, input string of tokens is according to the l uh, grammar of the language or not okay so in order to construct such tree there are two possibilities you can start from top to down and that's the top down passing approach and you can uh, uh, construct such tree from down to top means you will start from leaves and go towards the top okay so the first type is top down passing and in fact uh, this passing uh, starts from the uh, root node of uh, tree and from root uh, it it goes uh, the tree goes to expand towards the leaves for example look here we started from root node and it it is going to be this tree is going to be expanded further okay so here the tree completes and the second approach is bottom up passing and uh, this passing approach starts from leaves and uh, you can say the leaves or the string of tokens reduces to root node like this for example you have this uh, string of tokens 2 minus 3 plus 5 for an uh, for an expression then you will start from leaves and proceeds towards the root node okay so these are two basic types of passing so we will just concentrate on top down passing and the further specialized type of top down passing is recursive descent passing as its name suggests this is a uh, top down passing approach in which uh, we have to uh, uh, implement this approach in such a way that uh, for each non terminal of the grammar you have to uh, write a function in your code and this function can be recursive so that's why its name is recursive descent passing okay so uh, in order to uh, draw uh, or you or you can say in order to uh, code such a uh, parser uh, you have to make a uh, function for each non terminal as well as you have to uh, write code for some other functions like match function which is used for tokens in fact whenever the grammar says that uh, at a particular point uh, some token 
should come here then this token is going to be matched with the uh, current token in input uh, tokens string okay and that current token is called look ahead so it means the uh, recommendation of grammar is going to be matched with the look ahead okay and that this process is going to be implemented through match function so match function is an additional function in addition to all those functions that are against each non terminal of the grammar okay so such kind of approach is called recursive descent parsing and uh, the specialized type of recursive descent parsing is predictive parsing so here i try to show you the whole hierarchy and that uh, what kind of uh, this approach is so um, as we have uh, um, got the knowledge about the basic two types of parsing top down parsing and bottom up parsing and within top down parsing uh, there is further specialized type recursive descent parsing and predictive parsing is the specialized type of recursive descent parsing so it means predictive parsing has all the properties of recursive descent parsing and in addition to it it has some other properties like uh, it is a recursive descent parsing approach uh, a specialized recursive descent parsing approach in which uh, 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 by looking at look ahead as I told you what is look ahead look ahead is uh, the current token in input string of tokens okay so by looking at look ahead uh, the parser can unambiguously determine that which production has to be used for further construction of past fee okay as I told you earlier as this is the approach within the uh, uh, umbrella of top-down passing so it means the tree uh, started from root node and it is going to be proceeded towards leaves okay so uh, while going to be uh, proceeded towards leaves at each step uh, by looking at look ahead we have to decide that which production of the grammar has to be used for further construction of the tree okay so in such kind of approach uh, uh, this decision should be made unambiguously so that's why its name is predictive parsing okay the second uh, main topic of uh, today's lecture is about the recurrent in grammar there can be two types of recurrent in a uh, grammar uh, uh, grammar can be left recursive or can be right recursive so before going to uh, get some knowledge about uh, such kind of recurrence within the grammar first of all we, we uh, want to know that what is left recursive production or what is right recursive production okay so if a non terminals production like this one exp is a non terminal here okay so this is the production that is going to explain uh, that uh, uh, how the exp is going to be expanded okay so if a non terminals productions right side like this one which is uh, highlighted here uh, within this uh, red color boundary okay so if a non terminals productions right side starts from that non terminal then that production is called left recursive production okay like uh, exp can have the form of exp plus digit so it means the right side of the production is going to be started from the same non terminal uh, uh, for which this production uh, is going to explain okay and the second type of uh, recurrent uh, uh, is right recurrent and any production uh, is called right recursive production if uh, the non terminals uh, in the non terminals productions right side ends at that non terminal okay for example exp can have the form of digit plus exp so the right side of this production is going to be ended with exp okay so that's why such uh, production is called right recursive production 
सो वट इज लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव ग्रामर इफ अ ग्रामर हैज वन और मोर लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव प्रोडक्शन दैन दैट ग्रामर इज कॉल्ड लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव ग्रामर सो इट मीन्स इफ देयर आर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शंस विद इन अ ग्रामर इफ ओनली वन प्रोडक्शन हैज लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव लेफ्ट रिकरियन दैन इट मीन्स द होल ग्रामर इज लेफ्ट रिकर्सिव ग्रामर ओके सो आइदर वन और many productions are left recursive so it means that that grammar is left recursive grammar and if uh, in a grammar one or more right recursive productions exist then it means that grammar is right recursive grammar so the grammar can be left recursive or right recursive as well as it's also possible that within the same grammar it it has left recursive productions as well as right recursive productions so then we can say that that grammar is left recursive grammar as well as the right recursive grammar okay so that's it thank you